Thank you for watching and welcome back to another Halloween tutorial. Today is a last minute tutorial again so if you want to see how I got this grungy gothic look then please keep on watching. So first of the eyes I'm dipping into my Urban Decay Mini Smoky Palette and just using the light brown shade to act as my transition colour so all the other colours that I'm applying on my lid later will just blend a lot easier. And then to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye, I'm using the number 7 mini eyeshadow palette in the shade 69 Starry Lights. And I'm just packing that on generously. And then for my main lid colour, I went in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I use the darkest purple called Urban. And I'm just going to be applying that with the smallest end of the Urban Decay brush that comes with this palette. So I thought, since I'm doing a spider's web, I don't know why I think of spiders just to do with colours. Uh, the main colours I think of are black and purple. They're just the two main colours I think of. I don't know why. So I thought, hell, why not? I haven't used this shade all over my lid in a tutorial before. So yeah, I just started applying this. And then I went in to that Urban Decay palette again. And I started putting a little bit of more black shadow on the outer corner. I wanted this look smoky, but not too smoky because I didn't want the black to overpower the gorgeous purple colour. So yeah, I'm just blending that out with a Sigma brush. And then blending any harsh lines out with the same fluffy brush with a transition colour but not picking any more product up. Picking up some of that transition colour and the black together on the same Sigma brush and buffing this into my crease and slowly blending it in to my inner corner. And then after this I will be applying more of that purple colour just to make it pop a little bit more on my lid and then blending out any more harsh lines that have occurred. And because I didn't have my tape, I accidentally lost it, I don't know where the hell it's gone. I went in with some collection translucent powder and started cutting that edge just to make it more sharp. So yeah, you can do this if you don't want to use tape on your skin. It works wonders. I got this tip from Jacqueline Hill, so thank you to her. It helped me out loads. And then I'm just wiping that away very quickly. And then going in with my collagen liquid liner and creating a sharp dramatic wing. And then for lashes, I used half of lashes. Um, these came in a set from Amazon. I will link it down below for you. And I'm just applying these on the very long and very wispy. So they look like spider lashes to me. <laughs> and then I wanted my eyes to look a little bit more sultry. So I went in with a black coal liner from the brand 17 and started to waterline my lash line and the upper lash line as well. And now for primer, I already went in with my MUA, but I wanted to prime my skin a little bit more. So I went in with the Avon Mattifying No Pores Primer and started blending this out with my fingertips. And then for foundation, I went in with my Urban Decay foundation in the shade 04. And I started just blending this in to my skin with a damp beauty blender as always. So this foundation isn't really full coverage, but I don't know what it is. I just love this foundation. It seems to do like my skin justice and makes a beautiful glow on my skin. And then I really wanted to try and cover up some blemishes. So I went in with the Avon Colour Correct concealer in the shade light first and I started applying this on top of my blemishes I'm breaking it so I think it's that time of month you ladies know what I mean <laughs> and then I went in with the shade very light on top of that and blended these colours together and started blending it out with a damp beauty blender as well and then after this to contour my face I went in with LA Girl Beautiful Bronze Concealer and I just started contouring my face and then I drew like a spider's web in the shape of this I I don't know why, it just started happening. My hands just started drawing these. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just contouring my face as normal as I always do. Yeah. 
and then I'll be blending this out with an artiste brush and a damp beauty blender. So I did do a last mini Halloween tutorial with a cat look so if you want to check that out it will be in the top hand right corner to click on or you can just go to the link directly down below in my description bar. And then to highlight and conceal my face further, I went in with the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory and blended that out with the same damp beauty blender. And then to set everything in place, I done some baking with that same collection translucent powder and just apply this everywhere where I usually become more oily during the night and I applied generously underneath my eyes. Um, I have been changing the way I set my under eyes and this is what you get once you start baking. So if you bake, you know how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> and then I set the rest of my face with my number seven pressed powder. So as I was saying, I have changed the way I set my under eyes. So if you wanna see a tutorial on that, um, I how I stopped them creasing, just leave a comment down below and I will get that up for you. So to set my eyes further, I went in with the shade Lucid and Light from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I just started applying this with a fluffy brush underneath my eyes. I used the banana shade just to brighten everything up and just to highlight a tiny little bit more. And then moving back to my eyes, I used that same shade Urban from the Electric Palette and started applying this to the bottom lash line and then I used the more fluffy side of the brush to actually blend it all out and smoke it a little bit more out. I was going to put black with this but as I said I didn't want the black to overpower that beautiful purple shade so I just kept it purple and I think it looked fine. And then I started to highlight the inner corner of my eye using the shade Revolt out of the Urban Decay palette. And then I thought I wanted some gems. I don't know why I just wanted to glam it up. So I applied some lash glue and just started applying some gems. I used two black in the inner corner and one silver. So this is what the eyes looked like so far and then I thought the ends looked a bit bare so I just added a black rhinestone and a silver rhinestone to the end of my wing just to make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going in with the Techniques Colour Fix Correcting Palette and I went in with the bronzer shade first just to bronze up my face, I turn a little bit more and then I use the shade that was next with the lightest one just to contour my nose, just to slim it down a little bit. So then once I contour my nose, just to make it look a little bit natural, I went in with the shade Lyric on top of that just to pat them lines down so it wouldn't look so prominent. And then I went in with the shade Subconscious and then I started setting that contour in place and just contouring a little bit more just to make my cheekbones look a little bit more slimmer and defined. And then I went in with a different Dior blush. This is a different one that I used in a cat one. This one's more of a pinky purpley shade with a little bit of glittering but not too much and I love this colour. And then I'm just blending everything in with a damp beauty blender and then I will be contouring, not contouring sorry, cutting into my contour a little bit more with the same translucent powder so I can clear up any mess I made and just to make it a little bit more neater. And then for drugstore highlighter I went in with the MUA highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold and this highlighter is just everything. And then I just removed that translucent powder and now I went on to drawing the web. So to start drawing this I thought of a shape of a triangle, yeah, um, and then I started just drawing lines that was spurting out from one another. You want to make the gaps fairly big but not too fair big and then 
for the lines in between it's like you're drawing an upside down U that's the best way I can describe it so yeah I didn't actually practice this this was just a very spontaneous video that I wanted to come up with so yeah I repeated this on the other side of my face underneath my eye which I'm showing you now and this was definitely the hardest for me as you can see some of the lines are a bit crooked and um, but I did go in a bit later to fix them all so to get the clean lines you really want to try and just stretch on your skin well stretch your skin a little bit so the lines are very straight and the way you want them and just so your skin's taut so it's a lot more easy to draw on if this makes sense I'm terrible at explaining things sometimes <laughs> So now what you want to do, you this is optional. For me, I really wanted to add to the effect to make it look more 3D. So I went in with that same black shadow put on my outer corner of my eyes and just started shading on the lines and then on them little dashes in between. And I went over with the same eyeliner, the collagen one, just to make the line stand out a little bit more. And then I done the exact same thing on the other web underneath my eye. So yeah, guys, it may look a little bit hard, but honestly, when you do it and practice, it's really, really easy. So don't get disheartened at all. And then to add more to the look, I went in with the Sigma 22 Glimmer Dust. And I this was purple as well, so it went really, really good with the look. I just wanted to add something more to the web just to make it look a little bit more glitzy and make it stand out a little bit more. And then for lips, I thought, what a best way to wear purple liquid lipstick. And this is also from the MUA range and this is in the shade kooky so i'll just be applying this all over my lips and then setting everything in place with my avon setting spray and then that is the finished look i really hope you enjoy this tutorial i think it's perfect for the last minute halloween plans i know if i have last minute plans this will be the look i will be going for so yeah if you want to recreate it don't forget to hashtag me on instagram at jade vanessa mosley all lowercase and one word and yes thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to click that like button and as always i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye